All right, let's start off on number four here, or sorry, number six. So this is gonna be degree four uh, negative. Uh, and it's degree four because this is like semi-factored form. We would have to add the squared and the squared up. I'm gonna go ahead and, and completely factor it here. Uh, x minus two x plus two. And you can definitely see the, the fourth degree there. Um, so I know my end behavior is kind of down to the left and down to the right. And then I have zeros at uh, zero, which would be a bounce as it has multiplicity two. 2, which is a cut, and negative 2, which is also a cut. Um, so then I think it, the only one that that could be is Roman numeral 1. Um, because uh, that one kind of has all of those aspects, we have the, uh, the bouncer there at 0, and then cutters at negative 2 and 2. All right, so then next up, number 8. So number 8 uh, is in standard form, so the biggest exponent would be 6. So that would be a degree 6 uh, positive. So that's going to be going up to the left and up to the right. Um, I would, to factor this, I would actually take out a one-half x to the fourth. And if you did that, this would turn into x squared minus four. Uh, that's because if you uh, GCF a one-half, um, this number is actually going to get bigger. Because if you think about it, if you multiply that back in, this would turn it back into the two that it is right there. Um, so then I can break that apart a little bit more. as x plus two, x minus two. So it's actually going to have the same zeros as number uh, six but it's just going to be facing up instead of facing down, so I would definitely say that's Roman numeral 2 there. All right, and then lastly on this uh, section, number 10, uh, I see that this is degree 3 negative, so that's going to be going up to the left and down to the right. Uh, we do have a couple that do that, so I'm going to uh, factor this, uh, so I'll take out a negative x squared. All right, uh, so we'll take out a negative x squared, which would leave me with x minus 2. So I only have zeros at 0 and 2. 0 would be a bounce, so then I'd say that's Roman numeral 4 there. We've got our bounce at 0 and then our cut at 2. So this is going to be Roman numeral 4. All right, next up, number 26. Uh, so for this one, I see that this is degree 3 negative, so I know it's going to start up there and go down there. And then I'm going to factor it. I'm going to take out a negative x to start, and that gives me 2x squared uh, plus x minus 1. So then I need to factor that some more. Uh, this is going to require an x and a box because I got that 2x squared out front. Uh, so this will be positive 2, negative 1. That'll give me x plus 1, 2x minus 1. All right, uh, so then that's going to give me an x at 0, um, at 1 half, and at negative 1. They're all going to be cuts um, because they're all first power there. So we'll do one half right there, and we'll do zero, and we'll do negative one, all kind of scrunched up there. So we're going to switch from top half to bottom half every single time. So I'm starting from the top, switch to the bottom, switch. And now back down to the bottom, and that's where we finish. All right, next up, uh, number 28. So on this one, I see, first of all, it's degree five positive. It's the biggest... Uh, biggest exponent there. So I'm going to GCF and X to the, th oh, so I can already do the end behavior actually there and there. GCF and X to the third leaves me X squared minus nine, and then we'll just break that down different to perfect squares. And we got our zeros at zero, negative three, and three, and they are all cut because they are all odd exponents, even the third power. Uh, and so we're going to switch sides every single time here. So switch to the top, switch to the bottom, switch to the top. All, all right, next up we're going to do number 30. Uh, so first of all, number 30, uh, I see the biggest exponent is 3, so this will be a degree 3, uh, and it's positive, so I know the end behavior is down to the left and up to the right. Uh, I see it's four terms, so I'm going to do grouping here. Um, and so the first group, I can take out x squared, leaving me with x plus 3. The next group, I can take out negative 4, leaving me with x plus 3. So I get x squared minus 4 times x plus 3. And then I'll break apart that difference of perfect squares. And so that'll give me three zeros at negative two, two, and negative three. And once again, these are all going to be cuts because they're all the uh, first power. So there we go. Draw them there. And then we're just going to switch from the top, bottom to the top, back to the bottom, and then back up to the top. All right, next up we got number 32. This one's a little bit tricky. Uh, you can see they have a squared out there. And so, actually, I, I kind of already know that this is degree 8 positive. The reason I know it's degree 8 is really kind of this thing is there, um, like, over again. And so it's, like, semi-factored form. I have a fourth power and a fourth power, so that's going to make an eighth power. 
Um, however, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to uh, do this once, and then I'm going to kind of uh, double every exponent. So I'm going to do grouping here. So we're going to group together the first term and the second term, or second group of terms. Uh, the first group, I'm going to take out x to the third, leaving me with uh, 2x plus 3. The second group, I can take out negative 8, leaving me with 2x plus 3. And so then I got x cubed minus 8 times 2x plus 3. And really, this is kind of a... Uh, actually, I'll do that in a minute. Really, this is all squared. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down this uh, difference of cubes using uh, our soap pattern. So we're going to do x and 2. And we get x squared, 2x, and 4. With same, opposite, and always positive. And I still have my 2x plus 3 out there. Now, because this is all squared and because I have multiplying inside, what I can do um, is that I can just multiply all of these exponents by 2. Um, we are allowed to do that because these are all multiplying. If it, if it was just in standard form and everything was adding, we would not. Okay. Um, and we still do have the 1 8 out front. It's really not going to affect our zeros. It's just It really only affected the fact that it was positive here. So, um, oh, I, I didn't do my end behavior, but I can do that now. We have arrows up left and up right. Um, and then I know that my first one here was going to give me a 0 at 2, and it's going to bounce. And I know this last one here is going to be a negative 3 over 2, and that's multiplicity 2 as well. Both of these are multiplicity 2 because they are now squared. So that's also going to bounce. And then uh, this one right here, actually after soap, um, that trinomial uh, always uh, has imaginary zeros. And uh, we don't graph imaginary zeros. So I'm actually not going to put anything for that. So really all this graph is going to do is it's going to bounce up at negative 1.5 and then bounce up again at, neg at positive 2. And that's it. Um, all right, next up, number 42. So this one, we're just doing end behavior using the infinities. Um, so it doesn't matter kind of which one we look at, because either way here, uh, this is a degree 12 negative. And so I know it's down to the left and down to the right. So I'm going to write that kind of in plain English here. And I'm going to translate it to those infinities. So down would be uh, y going to negative infinity, and that's really the same on both of these. But then uh, for the left and right, for left, x is negative infinity, and then for right, x is positive infinity. So that's it.